Ceasefire between Israel and Hamas remains broken. Those of the Jewish faith in the St. Louis region and across our area continue to honor the hostages still in the hands of terrorists. First Alert 4's David Emilotti takes us to a congregation in Creve Corps showcasing how all Jews across the world are one family. We take anti-Semitism very seriously. The uptick in it is horrifying. Lori Cohen prays for peace inside B'nai Amunah Synagogue in Creve Cor. It took my breath away and tears just started flowing. She sits among the pictures of the 100 plus Israeli hostages still held prisoner by Hamas. More than 200 took seats back on the Sabbath on November 7th, one month after the initial attack. It made it so much more real. You know, it wasn't abstract anymore. It was, these are real people. I think it shows how much we are connected and how much we care. Rabbi Jeffrey Abraham says he seeks the humanity among the tragedy. He says it's an amazing feeling when a picture can be pulled from a seat, like what happened when Israeli hostage Mia Shem was released last Thursday. But this heartwarming reunion comes with a dangerous price. It's incredibly frustrating that in order to get an innocent person who's been held hostage out, that we have to release three people who have been prisoners. Right, and, and they're prisoners because they try to kill us. He says these innocent lives are not pawns of a game or just numbers in a news story to be leveraged. The very famous hostage deal um, in about 10 years ago with Gilad Shalit, who was an Israeli soldier who had been taken captive by Hamas. He was held for over five years. And in the end, Israel gave up over a thousand prisoners for one IDF soldier. And one of the people they released is now the head of Hamas, Sinwar. Um, and, and it makes you just think about what could these prisoners that are being released, what could they do? Rabbi Abraham is quick to say anti-Semitism is low in St. Louis County, but he fears what some elected officials' words are inspiring elsewhere. We unfortunately have a congresswoman in Cori Bush who, uh, you know, has been very against our Jewish community um, and outspoken and continues to not only make statements, but vote against us. What do you think it's going to feel like on that day where you're able to pick the last one off a seat? It'll feel like we, we, we've gotten our people back, and on some of them, we won. The same tears I had when I first came in to s and saw it all, I'm sure I'll be crying in my eyes out and being thankful that they were all released. In Creve Corps, David Emilotti, First Alert 4.